But today's video is going to give a very brief introduction to a RTL SDR. This is just a very inexpensive software defined radio that's based on a USB dongle or for a TV tuner for digital television broadcast. And these are available online for as little as $20 or even less. Uh, the name RTL comes from the chipset that's used in these things. And uh, some very bright folks figured out that with software, they could access the IQ data that was being generated inside the chipset and really just turn your PC into a nice uh, software-defined receiver that can do many, many functions. Now, I have to send out some thanks to one of my YouTube viewers, uh, John, uh, you know who you are. Uh, very generously donated uh, this new ELEC uh, dongle. This is one of the RTL SDR modules. This one's available from New ELEC for less than $20. Uh, and really what this thing is, uh, look at some of the specs here. You know, it's uh, you know, an RTL 2832 based USB stick. Uh, and uh, you've got, look at the specifications here. It covers a frequency range from 24 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz approximately and it has an SDR bandwidth of 3.2 megahertz. So that means that the IQ data that is generated internally will support uh, up to a 3.2 megahertz uh, channel and uh, within there uh, we can do all kinds of reception with uh, the various software that's out there. Now this particular unit uh, comes uh, with the USB stick it comes with some drivers for uh, the digital video broadcast uh, application, but you don't really use those if you just want to do an SDR. It also comes with a, uh, a small magnetic mount antenna that you could use as well. Now, since these RTL SDRs were quite new to me, John also sent along several links uh, that I'll include in the show notes below. And really one of the most valuable was a link to this rtl-sdr.com really great website to get you started. Uh, the home page is a blog that includes uh, you know, many many articles of various applications that people have used these RTL SDRs for you know, as well as other uh, you know, SDR uh, applications and things like that but uh, really quite interesting uh, as a read. Uh, they, there's also a really nice tab here to give you some background about you know, what an RTL SDR is a little bit of a history of uh, you know what uh, where this came from, what is a software-defined radio, and what I would say is a relatively small list of just some of the applications that you can do with these little dongles and uh, the software that's out there these days. Now the page on this website that was uh, most of interest is the Quick Start Guide. The Quick Start Guide literally walks you through you know, getting an RTL SDR dongle and finding the software and installing it. And uh, the first two software packages that it describes here are the two that I put on my computer. The first is SDR Sharp, the little uh, sharp or pound sign here. It walks you through setting that up, installing the drivers, and it also walks you through setting up uh, HD SDR. Now I already had HD SDR set up on my computer and you may have seen this already if you've watched any of my videos on the Softrock uh, software defined receiver kits that I had built and did some videos on in, in the last several weeks. So this software was already set up and all I had to do essentially was to go grab this DLL file and install that and then that software was working with this as well. So let's go take a look at uh, those two software packages and listen to some signals with uh, this little dongle. Okay, so let's launch uh, SDR Sharp. And uh, SDR Sharp is uh, the first program that's in the Quick Start Guide. And uh, again, that, the Quick Start Guide walks you through how to get everything all set up. So I've already kind of done that. And I'll just start, uh, start running the software here. And uh, let me turn the volume down. And what we're looking, listening to here is just the FM broadcast band here. And I can see, you know, this station we're listening to right now is uh, 101.5. And I can see various other stations here uh, just in the spectrogram, or excuse me, the, the spectrum display. And the spectrogram is just kind of a uh, you know, strip chart of history of the spectrum. So if I just turn the volume up here a little bit, you can hear that station. 
and tuning to another station is simply a matter of clicking on it. So there's one of 1 1.9. There's a, a football game going on on that station there. And now a commercial. Another station over here. So you can see how very easy it is to tune around, you know, see the various stations, see the spectrum they're occupying, and then tune around and listen to them. There are a lot of settings here. I've uh, just begun to start playing with some of these things, but it's really quite easy to set up and then uh, and go listen to uh, various radio stations. Now the various modulation types that we can listen to are uh, kind of up here in the corner. Now let me magnify that a little bit so it's easier to see. So we can see we've got uh, narrowband FM, AM, upper and lower sideband, wideband FM, which is what we use for FM broadcast, you know, double sideband CW and RAW, which is just the basic IQ. And uh, this is just for this basic package of SDR Sharp. There are lots of plugins and accessories available for this software to do all kinds of different things, you know, from uh, scanning of you know digital radio uh, demodulation and things like that. So this is just one example of uh, one of the software packages that's available uh, for getting started with these RTL SDRs. So let's take a look next at uh, HD SDR. So now here's a screenshot of HD SDR, again another free program, and I like the layout of this. You get uh, you know, essentially the spectrum of all of the signals that are visible within, in this case, about a 3 megahertz uh, span that we're tuned to. I could see a couple of active stations. The spectrogram or waterfall display for the RF signals or the RF band you're looking at is shown up here. But then there's also a, an audio spectrum, an audio spectrogram shown down here. And uh, if we turn the volume up here a little bit, you can see we're listening to this station right here at 101.9. If I click on this one here, so that's 101.5. And there's 101.1 over here. There's a 102.7 over here. So again, very, very easy to go tune around and look at a, a relatively wide chunk of spectrum to see where there's activity. And that uh, can be really useful for ham radio applications if you're looking either for a clear spot to start a conversation or to look to see where there's activity you know, on the radio band so you can go listen to it. And this could be for shortwave listening and things like that. Now the only downside really to these, uh, these RT, or RTL SDRs out of the box is they typically only go down to you know, 25 or 30 megahertz on the low end. So they don't go down into the HF shortwave broadcast band. Uh, and that's uh, another useful place where these could be used. So there's lots of plans and designs uh, out there for building essentially an up converter to take those HF frequencies and up convert them into the frequency range that can be used by these RTL dongles. So I might go play around with those. You might see that in a future video here. But I just want to at least give you a feel for what these RTL SDRs are. You can get into this literally for $20 or less. The software is free and you play around with it and it's pretty fascinating in terms of what you can see uh, with these very inexpensive uh, uh, dongles and uh, some free software. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks again to John for, uh, for sending the, uh, the dongle off as a gift to the W2AEW YouTube channel. And uh, again, we'll play with, some, play with this some more in some future videos. Uh, thanks again for watching.